Once again, we have Extreme I.O. at two sites. In this case, we have Recover Point at a third site set to replicate from site A to site C. In our Unisphere for VPlex GUI, we can see that site A and B are configured in a metro cluster and that Recover Point is protecting from site A. We can also see that VPlex Witness is enabled at site C. Under the Virtual Volumes properties, we can see that Recover Point has been enabled on our Oracle Rack Volumes. We can go to our Unisphere for Recover Point GUI to show our third site has been configured. In this case, we're using a VNX array, but you can use any block storage device supported by VPlex and Recover Point. In the protection view, we can see the consistency group created to protect the Oracle production data at site A, replicating that data to site C. Recover point journaling is crash consistent replication. In order to have application consistent replication, Recover point supports scripted or orchestrated bookmarking that puts databases into hot backup or quiesced states. In this case, you're seeing the CLI process that would normally be a scripted process to create point in time bookmarks for application consistent recovery points. Recover Point provides operational recovery in the case of data corruption or data loss, and disaster recovery in the case of a two site failure. In this example, remote replicas of the Oracle data volumes at Site C are mounted as part of the recovery process. Easy to use wizards take you through the step by step process of restoring and mounting copies of your recovery data. In this case, rather than using the latest copy of the data, we use an application consistent version that we created with a bookmark earlier in this video. Recover Point restores a replica copy of the journal to the storage location specified. Once the restore is complete, the recovery rack hosts can begin accessing the storage at its new location. The CLI process you see now would be an automated part of the script that restarts databases at the new location. Within a matter of minutes, we restored access to the database at Site C, hosts are running, and users can begin logging back in. In our newly restored application environment, we can watch as users begin to log on to the database and transactions begin to occur. We now have a successful recovery to our third site, conducted in just a matter of minutes, 